this is what you wanted. I'll save you the, uh, the PowerPoint presentation, but uh, I'm out of Chicago, Joe Chicora, I'm with Red White Valve. And what I really want to talk about when you come around to the uh, individual tables today is uh, the legend gentlemen and the Apollo gentlemen have talked about the low lead situation. Um, we've got an advantage with that. We're based out of Lake Forest, California, and they went in 2009, they had to rewrite the law. Um, unfortunately, the red, this AB 1953 law was uh, written by some Berkeley lawyers out of California, so we were involved with it right away. And uh, probably 70% of the valves that have been sold in the United States since 2009 that are certified for low lead uh, were supplied by us. Uh, we've been ahead of the uh, curve on this thing, but again, it's because we were forced to do it in California. Being a California-based company, we've, um, we've dominated the market on the West Coast for years. So this was kind of shoved down our throats. Uh, we were forced to go to all the meetings with just about everybody from Washington when this originally came up. And nobody could answer a question, and maybe some of the people in the room were here also at these meetings, but nobody from the government could tell us what we had to make. Um, we asked about hose bibs, obviously, because people drink out of the hose when they're watering their plants. The original law stated that it was only two inch and larger gate valves. So when you look at most everybody's product offering so far on the low lead, pretty much everybody has only gone up to two inch. We've already expanded that to four inch because we know there's potable water lines over two inch that are, that are made. So when you come around to the table, please start making a list of questions on this thing. Probably by June or July of this year, you and your competitors are going to have to start thinking about turning your inventory over. I was in Maryland the last two days, and it's not even being policed there. Uh, Vermont has one state inspector, so it's not being policed there. But, you know, you've got all these state laws. But when it comes in January 1st of 2014, you can pretty much guess that um, it's going to be shoved down everybody's throat and it's going to have to go that way. We already have two different price sheets. We have our regular leaded valves. And we probably have the, I think we do have the most complete offering of low lead already out there. Again, not to be repetitious, we were forced to do this in California. We've got all our press valves, tankless water heater kits, everything that the government told us we couldn't tell us what we had to make, we made globes, gates, checks. How many glow valves we're going to sell in low lead uh, is anybody's guess. But um, again, based out of California, we have three plants in Milan, Italy. Red White Valve is just the name for the sales office in California. It's Valve Industrial Rizio out of Italy. Uh, we're a true manufacturer. We do no outsourcing. We make everything. And keep in mind that the product that's made in Italy, whether it's by anybody here, it qualifies for the Buy American Act. Um, if anybody needs a list of the countries that qualify for the Buy American Act, I can give that to you. Um, Italy qualified because they're a NATO nation and they cut Mussolini's head off probably during World War II. But that made it turn around and uh, become a favorite nation. And when you look at that list, it's mostly people from the European side. Um, we do have a, a rep warehouse stocking in Pittsburgh, so we can get product here within a day. So we have a stocking warehouse in Pittsburgh, we have one in Chicago, Nashville, and in Miami, Florida, to kind of service this part of the country if there's something short out of Pittsburgh. Um, Another thing that's very important with this AB 1953 law is the, both the product and the factory that's making the product has to have third-party certification. So that means if Bob's my buddy and I'm manufacturing low wet valves, he just can't do the approval on it and say it qualifies for less than 0.25% of lead. There has to be a third-party certified lab. In, we all probably remember that teardrop with the NSF-61. It'll now be NSF-61-G. And let's say an inspector wants to come to a job and look at a valve. How is he going to determine, just because it says AB-1953, if it does qualify? That NSF-61-G teardrop should be on the handle. And what we are doing is we're also putting the third-party laboratory that's doing our certification on the label, or on the handle, I'm sorry. That would be Truesdale Labs. And also in the body of the valve, there'll be a circle that says LF for lead-free, even though it's less than 
But there's been a lot of scare tactics about this, a lot of talk, and you know, you mentioned about the difference in the price cost and everything. And a lot of that is determined by what you used for, a, for an alloy. Um, people are using silicone, isthmus, which is already a carcinogenic, so that probably won't fly. Um, we basically have not used any of those. We've just added more brass into the valve. And what that has done is slowed down the machining process without the lead. The lead is simply a lubricant in the valve. So now the reason why our cost has come up is where we could yield, let's say, 100 valves in a minute. Now we're down to about 70. So that's going to have a lot to do with the cost. But like everybody that's in the plumbing distribution knows from past experiences from toilets going to 1.6 and a lot of things that have happened. On January 4th of 2014, the price is going to start going like this, unfortunately. Somebody's going to cut the price, people that aren't manufacturers, it's going to start coming up, coming together. So, you know, from your standpoint as a distributor, I would probably start to look at your C and D items now and think about putting them in the brass bin or the beer barrel. You're going to have to start bleeding those out. Uh, most I cover 35 states for us, and just about everybody is talking about turning their inventory over around June or July. And keep in mind, you're going to be able to use the leaded products for gas, closed loop HVAC systems, airlines, but how long the manufacturers are actually going to keep making both products, uh, it's kind of hard to determine. Probably if everybody looks at your A items, you're looking at a three-quarter ball valve. Let's say you have a 20% difference in price. Let's say it's four bucks now, you're up to what, 480 or whatever. So, you know, dual inventorying, dual manufacturing is really going to come into play. And, and you people are going to have to start thinking about that pretty quick. Um, like everybody else, I really appreciate the chance to be here and hopefully partner with you. And if you have any questions on this AV uh, situation, again, just think about it before you get over to the table. And I'm sure the Apollo and the Legend people will help you out also. All our third-party certifications are online. Um, there's a lot of states and cities that are engineers are writing this into the specs for jobs, especially if they're state or government money. The city of Dayton has written it in to their spec already, even though it's not going to be code until 2014. So now the city of Dayton is asking for certifications to prove the product is uh, certified. So again, thanks for the chance and look forward to talking to everybody in a little bit.